When he's not farming or fixing trucks, Guy Martin is in his shed, pioneering his own ways of dealing with an energy crisis. Yeah, I'm obsessed with power. I've always been. All the machines in here, like building engines, it's all about making more power, making things more efficient. You can see those copper pipes down there. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Right? What I have in here is a waste oil burner. Because we create, on my job, on the trucks, we create loads and loads of waste oil. So what this does here, get waste oil from work, burn it in this adapted paraffin burner, will eventually heat the house. Look, look, come here, come here, I'll show you, I'll show you. We're like three years into owning electric cars now. Look, have a look in there. Electric car, you see, right? And then if everything goes pear-shaped, but I can run my house and charge the car off red diesel. Come and have a look at me, come and have a look at me generating, you'll see. I got it off um, a man at the circus. Let me open the door. Let me open the door. There she is. 20 kVA generator. All serviced up. I just run my extension lead out, I plug her in, where you go. It's mint. And then here, air source heat pumps. Because where we live here, it's chalky ground. Chalky ground isn't a good conductor of heat, so this isn't the right place for ground source heat pump, but air source it is. So we've got the latest version now. From Grimsby. From Grimsby. Air source heat pump, time and a place. Your house has got to be the right house. It's got to be a well-sealed house. But that's mint. It is mint. Come on, have a look. Watch the dog. That's, that looks like key Energy bills have doubled since this time last year. Doubled. Anything I can do to make the job more efficient, I'm, I'm all in. I'm not tight. I'm not tight. Just sensible. Guy's unique solutions are to a common problem. Energy has never been so expensive. Yeah, a lot of work. A lot of work came in about a month ago with a, with a, like a knackered old log burner. I said, I've got to do something. It's me, um, electric bill is more than me mortgage. It's like 500 quid a month for electric bill. Guy's energy investigation starts at home. Which of his many appliances use most power? You know what that is? It's a device to tell me how much I'm spending when I plug something in. We're going to weigh up the costs of running my shed for a year. The energy price guarantee capped electricity at 34 pence per unit. A government intervention that could cost 40 billion pounds. Number one thing is the cow. It gets a lot of hammer in this place. And there we go. Start the beast up. The costs start racking up. That's 1p. They do say it. And I don't know why people... Why, why did anyone ever say a watch kettle never boils? Because a watch kettle does boil. 2p. Nearly 2,800 watts. It's a lot of wattage, that. It's the same power as 28 average cyclists pedalling as hard as they can. There she goes, 4p to boil the kettle. Just clicked over 4p. Right, so we're going to do the maths. Right, how many times do I boil a kettle a day? You spend a lot of time with me, haven't you? If we did, say, times 10, that's 10 a day. It's 40p. So over a year, we'd have to go times 365. Bloody hell, that surprises me. £146 pounds to boil a kettle a year. If I boiled it 10 times a day, every day for the year, 140 I wasn't expecting that. Oh, right, so that's just the kettle. Let's try something else. Next to be tested is Guy's parts washer. I love the parts washer, it's mega. It's probably on four hours a day, three days of the week. That's six pounds a week, I'm worrying now. Right, times 52. 312 pounds a year. £312 pound a year to run my pants washer. Come on, let's try something else. You'll need to watch your eyes. I've got the suspicion this is going to be fairly thirsty. The testing continues with Guy's welder, his garage freezer, and a workshop essential for heating up engine parts. Chazza was sick of me putting cylinder heads in the house oven next to the um, 
Sunday dinner. <laughs> so she got me, me own oven for Father's Day. So yeah, there it is. Five regular items and one shocking grand total. So for the year, to run my shed, and I am, this isn't made up, I haven't said, I don't know what this number's gonna be, but it's gonna be, oh dear, 730 quid a year, just to run the shed. Eh? 732 pounds a year. I'm gonna pat the kettle up, eh? So what's going on in British power stations that means bills have doubled? Guys have to find out, starting with the very biggest.